Hi guys! My name is Karine. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Armenia, currently residing in Krasnoyarsk, Russia. So today I'm gonna show you my daily life and talk about myself. Let's go! Actually, I'm gonna show two days of my life. As the first day I'm working, I need to show my workplace and the second day is my day off. And I will show the rest on the second day. First thing I'm doing after waking up is having a bottle of water, brushing teeth, putting toner, applying serum, now some sunscreen, The way I put my lipstick is very messy, but I kind of like it. Now I will add some mascara, and this is my final look for work. Yeah, let's go. This is our yard, and my workplace is very close. It will take five minutes to go there, so I'm gonna be there soon. Here we are. This is like a Korean convenience store. Uh, we receive products from South Korea, Japan, China, Thailand, Vietnam. I work here as a consultant and a cashier. I work 11 hours here. The cute environment, our crew and kind customers are making my day. And I really enjoy working here. It's 9 p.m. and I finished my work and I'm heading home now. I'm super tired so I gotta sleep. And tomorrow I will show the second part. Hello again. I did my hair, I did my makeup, I had my breakfast and it's time to practice singing and dancing. But before starting, I would like to tell some facts about me. And I'm gonna start with my favorite one. Is that I was born with my bangs and basically bangs have never left my side. My forehead at this point. Its direction was going down and it was like already fixed. In my free time I would anime and I used to even draw it. I'm also into astronomy, so I'm studying about stars and especially planets out of our galaxy. This is very fascinating to me and I really enjoy this whole thing. Learning languages is very interesting as well. I speak three languages fluently, Armenian, English and Russian, and my fourth language will be Korean. I just know the basic level of it, I'm still learning it, but I do have a little bit clue of some languages like Arabic, Indian, Georgian, Japanese. I am from Armenia. Armenia is one of the ancient countries in the world. It's known as the first country adopting Christianity as an official religion. It's also famous for its history, culture, hospitality, cuisine and landscape. I was born and raised in the capital city, Yerevan. We call it Pink City due to the rock doof which is mainly being used in construction of our buildings. It's very beautiful, especially when you have a view from a higher spot. This is Ararat, the legendary and holy mountain which was located on the territory of Armenia. It's one of our main symbols and religious resources as it was traditionally the resting place of Noah's Ark after the flood. These are some of our traditional food. Here you can see barbecue as well. Barbecue is like an oxygen for Armenians, so we have it a lot. And by a lot, I really mean a lot. Krasnoyarsk is located in Siberia, Russia. It's one of the largest cities in Siberia. The weather here, in contrast to Armenia, is very cold. We're having long and snowy winters and short summers. But it's not as scary as I used to imagine before. Actually, winter here is fabulous.
Keep watching me shut it down Nah, you don't wanna be on my best side That's right, I'm sliding through But you wanna be the wanna be me Me three, if I was you Been around the world, pearls are your girl BBS is me invested, uh Need a less to see them, I can see this This is sweet and buy real cause they uh I don't really need to look Very much fuller I don't wanna have to go Where you don't fall I won't hold it back again This passion inside Can't run from myself There's nowhere to hide Don't make me close What am I now? I don't wanna hurt anymore I'm both German and both i At night, I usually study Korean. These are my books, textbooks. Music unites, motivates, inspires people, and I've always wanted to be the part of this. I had felt the warmth of the audience while I was performing back then, and I can never forget the flow of emotions that time. I'm very happy to represent Armenia. I really want to be the first Armenian K-pop idol, and I want to show that nothing is impossible. All you have to do is believing in yourself, working on it and going for it. I want to become a good artist who can show her talents, who can spread her energy, love and happiness and be as charming as always. In K-pop, it's mostly Koreans, but Shinwa Entertainment welcomes foreigners as well, which is a huge opportunity for all of us. I have been following them on Instagram for months. I saw the post about the audition and I wanted to try it. And to be fair, I was waiting for them to open a new audition and I filmed myself in a rush. And here I am, I got selected. I took my first steps in singing and dancing when I was three or four years old. My uncle was my biggest inspiration. We would practice his songs and performances together. Eventually, it grew into something even bigger and vital. I started enrolling in musicals, performing on the stages with my dance. Later on, I found out about K-pop and got immersed into it. One day, I came up with this idea. What if I become a K-pop idol? And that's when I decided to take individual vocal classes. I really wanted to be very good at singing. I sing jazz, pop, soul, jazz, rock. When you were here before, gonna look you in the eye. You're just like an angel. Your skin makes me cry. You flow like a feather in a beautiful world. After my graduation, I moved to Russia under some circumstances. And now I'm working and saving money for Korea to go there and apply to offline auditions. Actually, I wouldn't make it this far if my mom didn't support me. 
At first, she didn't take me serious when I announced I was gonna fly to Korea and become a star. But after seeing me working on it, she realized how serious and passionate I was about it. Thank you, Mama. It's time to say goodbye. But I really hope you guys enjoyed my vlog because I tried my best and I will work even harder. So I'm hoping for your love and support. Thank you very much. See you!